Today we'll talk about AI agents and how to deploy them securely and quickly to Google Cloud using GitLab. I'm Renard Arcaden, a Senior Ecosystem Solutions Architect at GitLab, and I help partners and customers alike learn more about the integrations between GitLab and Google Cloud and help them make the most of our joint platforms. Let's take a moment to understand AI agents and agentic AI for a moment. So agentic AI is a type of artificial intelligence that leverages advanced language models and natural language processing to take independent action. Unlike traditional generative AI tools that require constant human direction, these systems can understand requests, make decisions, and execute multi-step plans to achieve goals. For this demo, I'll be using the Agent Development Kit, or ADK. The ADK is a flexible and modular framework for developing and deploying AI agents. While optimized for Gemini and the Google ecosystem, ADK is model agnostic, deployment agnostic, and is built for compatibility with other frameworks. Now let me describe the application that we'll be deploying today. It's called the Canada City Advisor, where a user will input their preferences regarding budget and lifestyle, and then our agent, the Canada City Advisor, will provide a recommendation. It uses two sub-agents, one that will be analyzing the budget, and then the other will be analyzing their lifestyle preferences. Now, once those two pieces of information are available or provided by the user, a recommendation will be generated as needed. So that is our agentic approach to this application. Let's talk about the high-level architecture of our deployment of this AI agent. So the source code is at GitLab, and once it is committed and approved, it'll then be subjected to security scans. Our CI CD will orchestrate a deployment to artifact registry, which will then be deployed to Cloud Run. Now, prior to that, we need to obviously have our permissions and integrations in place to make sure that the AI agent is deployed to Cloud Run properly. Um, to be used by our users. Well, there are four steps that we'll be doing in this demo. The first is to set up the IAM integration that will set up the workload identity federation between GitLab and Google Cloud. Second is setting up the artifact registry that will house the container images from the builds of this uh, CI CD. And then code the CI CD pipeline that will orchestrate the deployment of our source code, the AI agent to Cloud Run. And of course, the final step is the deployment. There are a few prerequisites that you need to take note of to get this demo working on your end. First is enabling the APIs in Google Cloud for Cloud Run, Artifact Registry, and Vertex AI. And of course, you need a GitLab project to house your source code that will be deployed to Cloud. The first step is setting up the Google Cloud IAM with the GitLab project. Now, I had set this up prior, but I just want to demonstrate where you need to put in the information to get the right um, configuration going. You need to provide your project ID, your project number, which can be found at your Google Cloud console, and then provide a pool ID and provider ID that will be your workload identity federation integration. Now, these can be new, uh, but you can also provide something that's been created prior, but we recommend something that's unique to this project. And once that's done, a new script will be generated for you from within the GitLab UI, where then you need to go to Google Cloud Console and run this command uh, that is provided to you. And once that is executed, your workload and federation will be set up and your IAM integration will be complete. The following step after setting up the IAM is the artifact registry integration. Now, you need to provide a few uh, pieces of information here. First is the Google Cloud Project ID, which is the same project ID of your Google Cloud project. The next is adding this repository name. Now, this repository name should be of a repository that you have had made prior to this. This can't be new. Uh, the GitLab integration will not instantiate or spin up a new repository. You, ha you have to provide an existing repository that got created from Artifact Registry and place it here. You also have to provide the location for that repository. Now, once that is done, 
a new command, a set of commands will be generated from the GitLab UI, which then have to be executed uh, at the Google Cloud Console. Once you're set up, this will set up uh, the permissions and bind these roles to this principle. And then this will enable the integration with Artifact Registry. Now we just need to add a few more roles to the service principle to enable Cloud Run deployment. Ensure that this service principle has Cloud Run Admin, Service Account User, and Cloud Build Editor uh, as roles. You can do this by running command like this or going to Google Cloud Console and then adding them manually. Let's now take a look at the CI CD pipeline. As you can see, we have four stages, the build stage, the test stage, upload, and deploy stages. Now, each of them will go through one by one as we go along. We also need to define a couple of variables. The first is the GitLab image, the default image that is created from the build stage using Docker. And the second variable is the predefined value where we define where in artifact registry uh, the container image will be, right? Now, moving along, this is our build stage. This is a Docker build, and we get the GitLab image from here. And now the fun part, I don't need to really create new pipeline code from scratch because I'm actually using some predefined content uh, code from GitLab. Uh, the first set are security scans right here. So I'm including these to improve security posture of this deployment. And then the next two are CICD components where we'll be pushing the image to artifact registry using a CICD component that GitLab has co-created with Google Cloud. And the second piece is actual deployment. Now, the good thing about these a CICD components is that you just need to plug in a few parameters and then you're good to go. Like in this latter part here, I just need to provide the project ID, the cloud run service name, which can be new or existing, and then the region and the image that we'll be pushing there. So this is the CICD pipeline for this deployment. And this is what our deployment looks like. As you can see, we have our four stages, the build stage, the test stage, upload, and then deploy. Each of them have their own distinct uh, purpose. But I'd like to point out that during the test stage, all of our security scans uh, have been accomplished. And then after that, it gets uploaded to Artifact, Artifact Registry and then deployed to Cloud Run. Now, once that is done, we can go to Cloud Run and see the URL for our application. And there you go. This is the ADK. We can try to demo this. All right. So as you see, the agent is working. We can interact with it and get a recommendation based on our design that we discussed in the previous um, descriptions. So there you have it. I've demonstrated how you can deploy AI agents securely and quickly with GitLab using our built-in integrations with Google Cloud, using the CI-CD components, using our um, console integration. So if you are looking to deploy these AI agents quickly and securely, GitLab is the right choice for you.